Hey Fruit Bats, it's the Banana Girl here. I'm in the kitchen again, third video in a row I'm in the kitchen and today is day two of my 30 videos in 30 days and I've had a lot of requests from people to know, like asking exactly what I eat in a day and this is my updated diet, okay? It's been a while since I've done one of those videos so I thought it was time for another one. So come over here. This in the kitchen. In, in the, the kitchen, kitchen with the body. In the kitchen with the banana girl. The banana girl body. So. Bananas. Here is my breakfast generally. So 10 to 14 bananas. Organic. Organic. Orgasmic. Orgasmic. And you know, I might put some coconut sugar with well, it. Was that a fattening though, isn't it? It's got fat in it? No. I oh, love oh, sugar. So it's 100, almost 100% calories from uh, sugar. Love my coconut sugar. So. And so that's what I generally have for breakfast. Yeah, no fat smoothie. at all. Yep. And you know, with some vanilla drops or something. And then we move on to lunch. Lunch. And lunch would be, you know, depends on what fruit's around. But What's in season. Yeah, what's in season. And at the moment, there's some really nice grapes. Is that just one meal? That's one meal, people. How many people is that? That's one meal for me. For your slim, skinny body. Yes. That's one meal for me. Okay. So, I would eat all of this easily. And this is a meal of persimmons. This isn't on the same day. You know, oh, it might be. It might be a snack. Yeah. This is kind of a snack depends size. Depends what you can get, isn't it? Yeah. This is kind of a snack size for me. You know, I'd probably have double that for a meal. So nice and soft. Look at these babies. So you, so you got to buy them. Sugar, sugar sweet. Buy them hard, let them ripen up. Yeah. And this juice. What's that? What is I, that? I might have this as a snack. Is that yogurt juice or something? No, it's apple juice. Oh, apple. Okay. It's apple juice. And, you know, that's quite a few calorie, calories already. Yep. But, you know, I might just interchange them. Some days I have persimmons for yeah. lunch, like a mono meal. I love to have mono meals. Breakfast and lunch is always mono meals of what, fruit. What's a mono meal? Mono meals is eating like one type of fruit until you're full. Until and, you're and then you're done. So all those dinner. grapes or all those bananas or all those persimmons. Yeah. Okay. And so dinner, you know, if I can't find quality fruit and, you know, get enough carbs in from fruit, yep. like say, oh, say with these greens, yeah. and, you know, bananas and dates yep. with a head of lettuce. Yep. You know, I might have that sometimes. Then drum roll. Oh drum my roll. God. Oh you're, my God, you're a cook girl. fruit addict. The banana girl might be eating potatoes <laughs> and some other stuff. So like, come over like here. Like Dr. McDougall style yes. deal. So this is about, I reckon it's about two kilos. Okay, so potato. about four or five pounds. These are massive potatoes. How many people is that for? This is, look, you know, if I'm not having fruit for, for dinner for some reason, you know, if I'm not getting enough carbs, I am not about under eating. But you know, calorie restriction for optimal nutrition. No, 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 not for me. They can, <laughs> they can just go and, yeah. Fruit themselves. That, fruit themselves. Or potato themselves. So that would be one meal for me. Yum. You know, like organic? steamed, organic, always organic. What about peeled. fried? Not fried? Not, not fried. Fried in coconut oil. Fried's fattening. Okay. You want to keep it lean and trim. Fat free. Yeah, Low fat, fat free. And maybe like I would have some of these root vegetables. Root. And see, look, I've tried, I've tried these things, and I recommend them still. Like corn couscous, some quinoa, corn free. pasta. Yeah. All vegan, of course. But I don't find and rice as well. But I don't find they digest as good as something really simple. Like whole food, perhaps. Whole food, yeah, potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I've definitely experimented with that the last 12 years, and I agree. Yeah, it's like, I just want to feel my best, and I'm not about under eating on carbs, and if I don't have enough fruit, then I am going to eat some high-carb cooked vegan food. What about filling up on some cashew butter or pine nut oil? <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, a lot of people are like, oh my god, Freely, you're having, you're having some cooked food. Oh, that's terrible. But, like, they'll be happily recommending somebody, you know, a high-fat meal. But isn't that you know, better? But it, because it's raw vegan. What about... Isn't, that, isn't eating raw, high fat better for spiritual awakening than eating no. some steamed organic potato? It's, def it's definitely, definitely not. I know these people are well intentioned, but it is not. It's a really bad way to eat. It's going to fat you out, leave you undercarved, and bloat you. Eventually. You're like in a flat belly. Yeah, but you must have starved all day for this. No, this is the end of the day, actually. And so you got a fair bit of food in there? Yeah. Some few, probably a gallon a of, fair bit of fruit of and food. water. Yeah, a lot of this. But, but, so you must have really good posture and good abs then, hey? Because a lot of people got weak abs and they eat something and they just pop them right out. Yeah, Yeah. well, no. It's just, I'm eating. Good I'm, posture as I'm well. I'm combining properly. Combining my food properly. And you're always hydrated. Fats. Yeah, good call. You know, and I want people to know that a high carb raw vegan diet is the best. It's absolutely the best to, way to eat. Yep. Okay, if you want to look and feel your best. But, 
you know, for some reason, if you can't get enough fruit, if you can't get enough high, quali high quality calories mm. from fruit, then go and have some, you know, potatoes or some root vegetables or some carbohydrates that are cooked. McDougal it's style. Not, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Just yeah. keep the fat low and, you know, just release the guilt. It's, it's not about purity. So it's focus on the high carb. Feeling and looking, yeah, feeling yeah. looking your best. Caloric sufficiency. Yeah. I mean, exactly. I definitely made the it's same mistake. Because mm. a lot of people are trying to do it, you know, 100% and they're just trying to do juices all day or whatever, <laughs> like fall back into the worst things ever. Like next thing you know, they're at McDonald's. Yeah. Binging out. Well, they will. This is sustainable. Mm -hmm. well, it shows in your physique as well. I mean, you yeah, know. Yeah, don't do a lot of exercise, so. Just enough to stay healthy. You know, yeah. obviously, you're not a, like a highly competitive athlete or nothing. You're not in a sports institute. So, but that's a good thing. It's good to show the physique here freely. And when you used to be fat, you know, you used to be quite overweight, extra 40, 50 pounds yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I, I feel good. That's and, great. And so I you, want to show people that, that they can achieve a lean physique. They can be their, their body, but a lean version if they do it this lifestyle long enough. Yeah, that was one of the, when I read 801010 back in 06 or 07, sorry, with... Doug would say, you know, high carb McDougal style cooked vegan is better than a high fat raw. And I was like, yeah, it makes so much sense. It yeah, makes absolutely. so much sense. Absolutely. Because you can actually have glycogen the next day versus be all cashewed out and emotional and yeah. just, yeah, great for it. What, just lastly about salt though, do you have a lot of salt in this oh, food or are you trying to keep it low sodium? Low sodium is good? I might have a little bit of pasta sauce on top yep. of the potatoes. Um, it's always low sodium, you know, below 300 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams. Why is that? Salt. Isn't salt good? Salt is this puff, puffer food. You only need a little it bit. It may be good to have a little bit to encourage you to eat more carbohydrates. Okay, that can be good. Like but, a... Yeah, but you do not want to go too crazy with it. Yeah, you get so salt below enough. 300 milligrams per 100. Yeah, okay. So, try the raw to four program. Yeah. You know, it could be a good transition to the banana girl diet. And, you know, you can feel great. No worries. So, right, that's it. That's it. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what the, the um, topic's going to be. You can put your suggestions down in the comments if you like, mm -hmm. and I'll consider them. And don't forget to go fruit yourself or, or root yourself. <laughs> root yourself. <laughs> There'll be a lot of rooting tonight, that's for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Bye, guys. See ya. Don't fruit yourself.